Hi everyone, this is Gurpreet from Dataverse Canvas and today I am going to show you how to conditionally format a cell color in Tableau for a dimension or for a text. It's quite easy to achieve it in Excel but sometimes it gets quite tricky to achieve the same result in Tableau. So this is quite a nice and handy tip which I will be sharing with you today to achieve the same results in Tableau. For this we will be using Sample Superstore Dataset. Without any further delays, let's get started. As you can see in this table, we have customer, order, category, subcategory, manufacturer, and the ship mode. So in this case, ship mode is a dimension, and we are trying to show that dimension into different colors classification. And let's get started with a blank new workbook where I will show you how to achieve this scenario. Okay. So we got a blank workbook and first of all, we need to connect to the data source. So we will use sample superstore data set in this case. As you can see on the left hand side, we have all the dimensions and um, measures. So this is a version 2020.2. So we have the folder table names, which are classified into this format. So let's get started with bringing few of the dimension into our uh, row shelves. So first of all, I would like to bring, let's say, um, customer, and then we bring ship mode, and then we bring categories, and we will expand it to, to multiple drill downs. So let's say we got this. And the easy way, it, it's quite easy to bring measures in the color format so if i bring sales to the color you can see the classification in the color which is quite easy to do but if i want to do either ship mode or category into the dimension colors then it's a bit tricky so if i bring this here and you can see all these are first class second, uh, second class standard class so we want to color these ship modes so how we can do that i will remove this first for this, we will need to create a placeholder calculation. So let's create a calculated field and let's say ship mode calc, right? And I will just enter one in here. What this will do is it will create one as a value in each of the rows in the data set. So if I go back to the data source and we'll show you what I mean, so we created the ship mode calculation and it will create one next to each row. That's all. And this is our placeholder calculation number one. And we will create the same calculation as a placeholder calculation two. So ship mode calculation two in this case. And I will do the same thing, add one in here. Now what we need to do is these two calculation, I will bring it into the column shelf. And you will see here a bar corresponding to that. And there are some scenarios where the bar is a bit longer. And why is that? This is because for these combination, we have more search records. So we will say for office supply, binders, every first class, we will have three rows. So that's why the bar chart is going to value three, whereas all other are till well. So what we need to do in this case is we will just pick a minimum value. But if you don't have such combination in your table calculation and all the bars are uh, showing the same value, then you don't need to do that. Then the sum will work as well. So based on the data set, what you are using, you can change these calculations. And I will do the same thing for ship mode calculation too. And I will change it to minimum value as well. So now we have got two bar charts here. So what I will do, I will go to the first bar and change it into a square. And I will increase the size to the maximum. You will see something like this. And for the second one, I will change it into text. I will show you what I mean by that. So we are trying to replicate the ship mode column into color combinations. So what I will do into the first calculation, I will bring the ship mode to the colors and you will see all these colors are changed. 
and I will do the same thing in the text for the second calculation where I will bring ship mode to the text and you will see it will disappear here. Now I will create a dual cal dual axis calculation, a dual axis, I will change it to dual axis and I will synchronize the axis for this one and you will see we have already there where we can see the first class in different color category. We can go here and change the colors if we want so we can use all the colorblind colors, assign the palette, apply, you can use this one or whichever you like. I don't like this one so maybe I will change it again back to the original one, um, automatic colors and or, or even with this one I will use green, orange is fine, red and blue. So once we got all these colors I will go to add the axis here, I will click on added axis. I will change the title and I will remove it. I will go to tick box and change it to none. And I will do the same thing on the top axis. And here I want to say, uh, I want to give the name of the calculation. So I will say ship mode. And I will go to tick marks and remove the tick marks. And we'll do a little bit more formatting here and you can go to whatever extent you want with the formatting just to align these columns together and let me bring that into the dashboard and you can see here we have achieved the same thing and you can do it with multiple columns if you want to bring more columns into it and expand the column width and you will achieve the same result which I showed you and this is how you color the cells in Tableau for all the dimensions. I hope you guys enjoyed this session. For more such tutorials subscribe to my YouTube channel and we will I'll catch you next time. Thank you.